Dr. Doom, right? You want to apologize to us before you get beaten up or after? Jan. And don't think I've forgotten about you, robot girl. I mean, seriously, do you really think you're gonna walk away from this? You think you're the only wannabe world ruler we've taken down? Here's a tip. Putting on a skirt over your second-rate Iron Man armor? Not helping. What, you're too good to talk to me? How does that bad guy that- Miss Van Dyne, I am not some common criminal that can be distracted by your prattling. You are nothing to do. And your pathetic attempts to play mind games with me amount to exactly less than nothing. So please, stop embarrassing yourself. Ah. Uh, okay. You have spent your life serving a tyrant. Come, quickly. You're wrong about Dr. Doom. He too is a freedom fighter, just as you are. In those days, that battery was ruled by a different tyrant, the Baron. Why? Why must we always run, Father? We can fight them. Always ready to fight, no matter the art. Just like your poor mother. She would be alive today if not for... Victor Von Doom and his father the next morning, nearly frozen to death. <laughs> they have murdered my mother, and now they have killed my father. They will pay. All of mankind shall pay for this. Even then, I had the uneasy feeling it wasn't young Victor Von Doom who would need my protection. The gypsy's medicine cured my headache, but my hair, my hair! Gypsy, he sold me dust, not gold. Get him! Fool! Did you really think Victor Von Doom could be captured so easily? Uh, it's a life-size doll. A, a robot. And so the legend of the strange young gypsy grew until... Victor, a stranger to see you. Hello, I'm Dean Stockton of Eastern State University in America, and I'm prepared to offer you a full science scholarship. Victor used the college used its modern scientific equipment to conduct strange, forbidden experiments. Hey, Vic, I've been going over some of your notes, and I'm afraid you're a couple of decimal points off on some of your figures. Out! I have no time for you. Okay, find out for yourself. At last. His experiments ended abruptly. What have I done to myself? My face, it is hideous. And so, Victor Von Doom hid from the world, taking refuge with the mysterious order of monks. Here he became Dr. Doom.
win this. I'm going to give you one chance here. Surrender. Doom does not surrender. Take it. have what we came for, yes? Why, Victor? What did you even want? You do not even see what is happening here. Enough! We're moving out, people. But this isn't over. I agree. We'll hold a cell for you, Doom. Count on it. <laughs> 